and goals. It's an England against Spain, a European clash. Out on court, you have Chloe Birch from England. Up against the Spaniard. Bale Street, Corollas. Head to head, the last meeting was a European championship where Chloe got the better of the two. Service. Service? Yeah. On the side? Yeah. But it's three to one for Beatrice Corollas. Well, first up is Beatrice Cor Corollas, 25 years of age. Height, 164 centimeters. Her current ranking is 27, but she's been the highest up to number 20. Originally from Leganes, Spain. And there's her opponent from England, Chloe Birch. 22 years of age, 168 centimeters. From Preston, England. Her current ranking is actually her highest ranking. So going up the ranking and playing at the best and the highest level so far. They both are very fit on the court. We like to run the shuttles down. Just the final preparations before their first match will be on its way. We just had another woman singles for Indonesia. They just beat Wendy Zetri from Bulgaria in three games. Oops. On the near side in the purple and white is Chloe Birch. 22 years of age. She just graduated from Longberg University in sports science and uh, now at the National Training Center. Ladies and gentlemen, at the on my right, Beatriz Corrales, Spain. Here's your umpire, Mr. Rafianto. And on my left, Lang Chloe Birch, is a service England. judge. Beatrice Corrales to serve. Love all. Play. With Beatrice Corrales to start with the serve. It's best two out of three to 21 Service points. over. One. Love. And that's wide out the side. Two, love. Well, Beatrice Corollas actually resides in Milano, Italy now. For the last two years, she's been training. Three, love. have it. She's reached the height of 20 back in May 28th, 2015, and then again in April 27th, 2017. So been in the top 22 different times. For love. Fantastic rally. And that's just wide out the side. And that's what we're going to see a lot of. Both of these are very Seven physical, hardworking players. Amen. Yeah, 
it four times in total, and uh, Beatrice Corrales is up to three to one. Back at the Spanish International in 2016, she beat her 21 to 11, 21 19. And it dates all the way back to October at the Welsh International. And it was a very close back then, 24 22, 21 15. And that's just wide. Oh, Beatrice Six, Corollas one. making these unforced errors, and that's where she needs to cut down. She's had some great results in the past. And there, she's just not comfortable, not Seven, getting on to her game. Oh, back in 2016, she won the Grand Prix, the Brazil Open. And she's won two international challenges in 2016. Right at the body. Good speed by Chloe Birch. Eight, one. And in 2013 at the Spanish Open, Beatrice Corrales beat her teammate Carolina Marin in a, a tight one, 21, 19, 21, 18 in 47 minutes. And the attack from Beatrice. So we two, eight. 2011 Silva Euro European Junior Champion when it was in Finland. Carolina Marin won and uh, Spain got gold and silver. So growing up with Carolina Marin. Three, eight. Great push right to the back of the court. So it's over. Nine, four. This is Chloe Birch's second world championships. Last world championship she lost first round to Tandy Lied Laid from India. 21-19 in the third. So just talking to her yesterday, she feels very confident coming into this world championship. And that time, great attack from Beatrice Corollas. Watch Super this, solo. gets up behind it. Five, Fantastic, nine. straight smash down the line. Short serve into the net. Service Soma, 10, 6. A little hesitant about to serve. Waited a too long and an unforced error. That's just wide. There's going to be a challenge on that one. Beatrice Corollas asking for a challenge. Gets behind it. This is her first challenge of the game. You're allowed two challenges per game if you're unsuccessful. If you're successful, you have as many as you need. 
either going into the break at 11 or shortens it to a three-point lead. Let's see. Oh, it did clip the line. A successful challenge. Correction in. So, tightens the lead by three now. And Beatrice Gross gets to keep her play. challenge, so she still has two remaining. And that time, just the pressure and out to the side. Eight, ten. from Beatrice Corollas. Nine, it was a short ten. lift. Yes. There it is, goes cross. Just out of reach from Chloe Birch. Oh. Well, the lead has slipped away, and Corollis steadily catching up. Oh, what a get down on the ground. Right back. Chloe Birch comes to the net. Nice backhand to the very end, and that's out the side. Well done from Chloe Birch. Stuck in that one, and able to get off a 10. And that just goes wide. What a good get, good fighting spirit. Leads the way at the first half. In nine minutes of play, 11 to 10. For two, 20 seconds, for two, 20 seconds. Just finishing up, mopping down the court where Chloe Birch with a fantastic get in the last half of that rally. Chloe Birch leading the way 11 10. 11 10 play. Good pace to the back of the court. Trying to open it up. Comes in nice and quick. And hits a tape, just comes over. And Beatrice Corrales will take a point and tie it up at 11 apiece. Well, just hits a tape. Well, Chloe Birch has had some great success recently. Uh, just a few weeks ago at the Singapore Open, she reached the round of 16th. Actually had a good uh -huh. win against Zhang Niman from China. 21-15, 22-20 in 33 minutes. She's ranked 39 and then lost to Jindapon from Thailand. US Open, she made the round of 16th and the, the Swiss Open as well. Thank you. European Championships, she beat her opponent on the other side, but also reached the round quarterfinal rounds. Right. So 
Commonwealth Games, she lost in the round of 16s to Kirsty Gilmore from Scotland. 22-20-21-12. Good lift to the back of the court. Using all four corners. net play able to lift it smashes out the body oh what a rally oh and just out the side chloe birch comes in 12, nice and high 11. it was loose at the net but tight not able to get enough on it to snap it down and just goes wide the longest rally so far and that's what you thought I thought coming into it it was going to be a battle great defense Beatrice tries to get on on attack but Chloe Birch right now really mentally strong knows how to win at the moment she's 11 time national junior champion and last year in 2016 actually she was runner up at the nationals and then one of her dreams was to win the national, so that came true in 2017. She was able to take that title. So looking ahead at other national, at other, of course, dreams and goals. Just talking to her the other day. She trains now with the boys. There's not much singles in, in England at the moment, so she's training a lot with the boys in Milton Keynes and really working, working hard at it. Also a great doubles player. Had a lot of success in her, in her doubles as well, so you don't see too many players playing women's singles and women's doubles, but uh, Chloe does. Very fast at the net. Comes in cross court. 14, 12. Sets herself up beautifully. There it is. Back in 2016. Chloe Birch won three titles in the doubles and, and two running up runners up. Playing with Lauren Smush, Smith and Sarah Walker and uh, Sophie Brown. She's had three different partners with the wins. And that time, a clip down Sophie from Sola. Chloe. Er, er, sorry, Beatrice. 14. There it is. Placed it nicely. Beautiful smash cross court on that. Watch how she turns her shoulders on that one. Last second, goes cross. Oh, Beatrice Corrales has 19 tournaments this year. She reached the round of 16s at the last World Championships. Beat Germany him and then lost to Sun Yu, actually, in three games. It was a very tight one, 21-11, 19-21, and then 23-21 in an hour and 36 minutes against Sun Yu. So excellent results last year, and trying to up it one more, and that's just wide out the side. Sovisova, 15-14. It's over. Fits in off. Good 
net spin. Puts her to the back. Just a little hold from Beatrice Corollas on that. Watch her racket. She 15. goes up nice and high, but she waits to see if Chloe's going to move. Holds it right there, snaps it down. just over the head. Good defense from Chloe Birch. Just enough. She so saw, saw. With Reese Corrales coming in. Just out of reach. Almost there. Not quite. Ties it up again at 16 apiece. Hey. Oh, beautiful spot. Changing the angle on that smash that time. 17, 16. Catches Corrales looking for the net. Now with the two 18, 16. Try to go across on that one into the net. 19, 16. Well, that was too low. Watch her arm dropped too far. Again, down on the ground. Good pickup from Chloe Birch. And that's the key. She says, I don't want it, anything to hit the ground. And that time. 17-19. So Puts on it the into clock. the net. Watch this. Tries to go across. Too much. Beatrice Corollas looking on to her coach. Thank Well, that's first game point for Chloe Birch. The big fist pump. defense just able to get a racket on takes the first game 21 17 in 20 minutes Ella te está levantando tú. No hace falta que ataque fuerte y te vayas hacia adelante. ¿Vale? Estás perdiendo energía. Y luego tienes que combinar más a jugar al lado derecho. Te está esperando todo ya en el lado de revés. ¿Vale? Esta última jugada que has hecho es muy buena. Te he venido el bloqueo ahí. Sí. 
behind it. Okay. Great thing because she knows that, yeah. She knows she can't get it through you. You guys have got a few great shots back, yeah. So if you can keep that solidness from the very beginning, she's going to start to want to go through even more. It's actually what you want. You could win this game by bleeding 21 hours out of her, all right? If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Let's do it. Come on. You've got to keep that thing of inside the chest. You're not here me. Yeah? That total guts, all right? For two, for the seconds, for two, for the seconds. Second game, love all, play. Well, Clary Birch takes the first game 21-17, and you heard from her coach, Anthony so Clark, Olympian. One love. Do the exact what, same thing that you're doing. Try to keep tough on defense and, and just wait for the mistakes. Keep the pressure on and uh, so it's over. One a lot all. of guts to pull it off. Cross court, good pickup from Beatrice. Again, fantastic hit. Short lift, able to get it back. Oh, what a rally! Great placement by Chloe Birch. Two, one. Comes in nice and quick to the net. Fantastic gets. Just dumps it over. That's exactly what Anthony Clark mentioned. You have good defense. Just hang tight. Wait for that opportunity. Talking to Arto Lopez, originally from Spain, now he's coaching in Italy. Play. And uh, the Altrice Corollas is actually joining him over in Italy. For the last two years, he's been there since 2013. And Beatrice so likes the way he coached, uh, coached her when she was younger, her and uh, Carolina Marin. Grew up together, and uh, the big superstar from Spain, Carolina Marin. 2016 Olympic champion and great smash down the middle. She won the 2014 and 2015 World Championship. So Beatrice Corollas and Carolyn Marin also made the Uber Cup finals for Spain, which was showing the depth in the women at the moment uh, for Spain. Great attack. Well done. Nicely placed. And the, the pump. And we have the coach. Just cuts it. Flat one. He's talking to Arturo Lopez the other day, and she is such a hard worker on court. Always gives 100%. They would like to get her into the top 20. She still has her ups and downs. She's won a lot of international challenges. Just that next step, she needs to cut down on the first few mistakes, and she would be with some of the best. Four, three. Yeah, Therese made the quarterfinals at the Swiss Open er earlier this year and in India as well. Oh, wonderful disguise on that one. Turns her shoulders, Five, watches three. how she can't tell where she's about to hit till the last second, goes cross. She's 
started playing when she was 10 years old, played a lot of different sports, football, swimming. She has her science degree at the university. Seven Sala. Just out the back. Four, five. Started playing international tournaments at the age of 15. Moved to Madrid to be on their national team, and then in the last two years in Milano, Italy with her former coach. Just hits the tape, able to return it. Holy Birch, nice and steady. What a drop shot. Goes cross on that one. Oh, a late call on the line. Chloe Birch tried for that Five. one. Let's oh. take a look. She almost Five able to hit it. Not quite. Got away with it. And ties it up at five apiece. Quick mop down of the court. And players get a little bit of a break. Thank you. Players on the court. Short left, Latrice attacks it, well left, just out the back. So we so saw again, six, six to five. five. All right, thought not executed though. So Came in nice and quick. Six. And these seven. are the mistakes that Beatrice will have to cut down on. She was there too much and into the net. Closes the gap by one now. Oh, back in 2012, Badminton England gave Chloe Birch the Young Player of the Year. And She was introduced to badminton by her sister at school when she was about eight years old and then started playing for Aberdale Badminton Club. Well, changes up the angle again. We saw that earlier in the first Seven. game. Oh. It was a flat smash. Just cut her off guard. Watch this. Looking low. Comes up on it. Too much and into the net. That's just wide. Oh, there's going to be a challenge. Beatrice well, uh, Corollas. Her first challenge of the second game. You're allowed two per game if they're unsuccessful. And let's take a look from Hawkeye. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Eight, seven, play. Good attack. Fantastic get from. Chloe Birch puts it to the back of the court. And that went out of the side. 
played it Sobisola. so well until the last Eight. point. Watch oh. comes in nice and high. Just doesn't finish the shot off, and it goes out the side. There is a drift, a little drift, going to the left of the screen as well. Not too much drift in the in this big facility. Usually we get more drifts. There's not much. The shuttle clock, so just because it's so big, it's a little harder to hit, get the power. So you have to do that little extra to get the power, and it drops in the back of the line. So this is over. Nine, eight. Is that just wide as well? Yeah. These players with eight. unforced errors in that time. Tries to go down the line too much. Takes the attack and into the 11, eight, interval. In the Chloe Birch leads the way again. Watch this, comes in nice and quick, fast racket, just snaps it down to put it away. Chloe Birch with an 11-8 lead. lento cerca de la red para que se desplaza hacia, hacia adelante. Es un corte. Vamos, va. Back on court after the break. Chloe Birch leading the way, 11-8. So it's Soma. With a quick point. 9-11. Mm. Oh, there's a flash behind the court. When you're on the court, you do see a lot of things surrounding. You're supposed to be focused, but uh, definitely when there's a flash, you can see it, and it's a, a distraction. So. Sometimes the spectator is not even sure right. if, if the flash was on. He had it there for a while, so it's told to put it away. Good cross court smash. Good pickup from Chloe in that time. Nice and high to the net, and Beatrice Corollas had to wrap it up. It did not come over. Closes the gap by one. Watch this. Beautiful net shot. That's what Beatrice Cor Corollas does so well. She actually lets the shuttle drop some before she hits it. So watch how her racket is in her forehand. She has a di few different ra weapons, that time going cross. Set up cross court. Comes in nice and quick, right to the body. Double. Well, I thought about challenging on that one, and out. she does, Chloe. Had her caught. She even saw that her back 
was towards the line, so let's take a look. Successful oh, one challenge back. remaining. Thirteen eleven play. Hey! Well, that so we saw the net. Twelve thirteen. A little frustrated on the on the serve, but uh <laughs> Chloe Birch with a little yell, so kind of a little under the skin of Beatrice Corrales. And that goes wide. Sub is over. 14 to out. Excellent defense, puts it to the net. Just getting it over the net, Corrales. That time, able to make a really stretch out, almost, not enough. Down to the ground. Oh, Chloe Birch. Thank you. That's good defense and that's what she wants to try to extend the rallies. Her best world ranking in women's Thank doubles you. is 26. And it's actually back in June 21, 2018. Wait. Playing with Jessica Poe and Jenny Moore as well. Two different partners. Current world ranking is 29 Play. at the moment. In singles, it's 50. She still likes to play both. I was just talking to her the other day and feeling good coming into the world championships. A little wild and out the side. And both these players are struggling 16, with the, the mistakes. They're really digging deep in the rallies. And then that one time too much. Chloe Bercher, also a great athlete, also competed in athletics and netball as a junior. Up badminton. It's the top of the tape and stays on herself. Side. to cut over the shuttle on so that one, or cut the shuttle, excuse me, and into the net. 13, 17. A reverse cut on the Beautiful. drop. Again, if you watch Corella, sometimes she gets away with it. Her, her elbow actually drops right before she hits on some of them. side that time setting herself up 14, beautifully but 17 these are the shots that you just have to keep fighting keep fighting you have to mentally know a lot will come back with chloe birch on the other side you just have to try to keep extending the rallies hey! and that time as i mentioned 15, her, sometimes her racket 17. just drops too far down on that so it goes up nice and high to it and then just waits uh, hesitates no. Play. Brings Good it down. Team. Corrales asks for a quick wipe down, but the umpire says, nope, keep playing. That time, able to keep that shuttle in. Again, the racket opens up at the so last second. Over. She chooses her side 18, nicely.
Nice hold at the net, really puts the pressure on, and that's just outside. Well, Alice comes in nice 15. and quickly on that one, holds it to the last second and places it nicely into the backcourt. Corrales up by four. That time, so we saw Chloe that. Birch returns it nice and fast into the backhand, 19. trying to look for that backhand. Gets Beatrice soft balance. Hey! 17-19. Is where mentally Chloe Birch is very strong at the moment. Get another point. Good smash out the body. And that time puts it away. Chloe Birch gets on attack. Nice. 18, 19. Sets herself up. Comes in. A short one and puts it away. Down by one. Hey! Too much into the net. Chloe Birch ties it up at 19, 19 apiece. All. Watch this. Again, short lift on that one. And Beatrice Corollas into the net. Well, we've seen runs of great rallies from both players. And then every once in a while, an unforced error. Both are very athletic. Fit on court, just needs to cut down on some mistakes. Great depth, goes down the middle. And another one into the net. Just hesitant about hitting it. Just waiting a little too long, watch this. Too much. Now it's match point for Chloe Birch. 20, match point, 19. 45 minutes of play. Dale Corollas, can she fend off a match point? Short, and that's it. Good. Chloe Birch with the win. Two straight games. Few, nice. Too many unforced errors from Victrice Corollas. Had some great rallies in there, but watch this one. It was a short lift. Too many options, and Chloe Birch takes it home. Chloe Birch with solid defense, always running down, waiting for the opportunities. Great smashes. Well, there she has it, 21-17, 21-19. In 45 minutes of play, Lori's on to the next round.